we ended up driving through most of the night. We only arrived here at about two o'clock in the morning, but <laughs> luckily the tent was super easy to set up and we just hopped right in. But it was freezing and we were ill prepared. There's just something about waking up in a new place. <laughs> That's so awesome. You know, we arrived so late last night, we had no idea what to expect this morning. And I mean, I didn't choose the best place to camp because it was so dark. I don't even think we camped in the campsite, to be honest. But to have a little view like this, it's quite incredible. We're stoked for today. Today we are at the three provinces and this is going to be a bit of a challenge. So I'm bracing myself. This is our last little stop in what we would call a little bit of civilization. The next campsite we're going to be staying at is in absolutely the middle of nowhere on a mountain. So pretty perfect spot to be but no ablutions, no showers, no nothing. So just going to be us, the stars, the mountains and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be freezing but it's going to be awesome. So we're just going to walk this quick just to check it out because I mean it is quite rocky and I think we just have to be extra cautious at the moment because we have the rooftop tent on so we don't want to take any risky unplanned moves and find ourselves wobbling a bit or taking the wrong line and then maybe rolling the car or something like that. Probably a bit extreme but you know rather be safe than sorry. I thought that section was bad. Um, look at that. This is insanity. But we're gonna give it a go. I think the most challenging part of this is this switch here going from this side over that rock and then that way otherwise it shouldn't be too bad little did i know i was taking the wrong line and would find myself in a bit of trouble not the best way to start the trip. Bring the rock sliders to a real test as they end up protecting the underside of the vehicle from a massive rock. I thought I would easily be able to get over the rock without any hassles, but it just shows you not to get too cocky. While the camera was cut out, I managed to find a better line and make my way through the obstacle just fine in the end. Payoff for our troubles would be an incredible view, one of many to still come. That was <laughs> really stressful, but we made it up the first major obstacle, which is probably one of the most scariest parts of this trail that we're going to be covering. So whew, the adrenaline's pumping. We made it up. We had a like quite a hectic stall. The rock sliders were being used. It was quite intense. Um, even the camera cut out, <laughs> but we made it up. So go Jimny. And I'll be honest, the suspension lift is doing all the work right now. And it is really performing solidly, keeping the vehicle stable with all this weight on the roof. So 
I have to give mad props to Desol and this kit. Like honestly, it's life-saving stuff right now. It started to sink in that maybe attempting this trail alone was not the best idea, especially on recently fit suspension and with the rooftop tent on. Let's just say this is about to get interesting. And all the time, the trail reminding us not to get too comfortable because what lay around the next bend would certainly shake things up. Attempt after attempt, I just couldn't get the right traction. Stalling, stalling. But we had to do it. We had to get up this obstacle. We couldn't have come this far to be let down at this point. And I don't even think we could make it back and turn around by now. We had to push on. I was determined to make it up this obstacle. And eventually, we made it. But not before being stuck again. So I decided to get out, pack some rocks behind the vehicle, just to, just to give us something to roll back into. One attempt, just not enough grip, not enough momentum. Another attempt, perfect, we made it. This would turn out to be one of many small victories won that day. Oh my word, that was, <laughs> that was rough. I don't think you can actually grasp the angle that everything was at, especially with the rooftop tent on the car. But we did it. We had to move the road, move the earth, but we did it. I really think this trail would be an epic challenge in the rain and probably an incredibly dangerous one too. I didn't film this because I was actually genuinely scared for my life. So I just wanted to be able to fully focus on the task at hand, but this was ridiculous <laughs> this is really crazy I just had my foot pretty much on the brake the whole time <sighs> so far three provinces I uh, don't know if I've done anything this difficult before there's been three incredible obstacles that have just really adrenaline adrenaline today and it's not over yet so I'm glad we're camping on the trail and I'm going to have a day to recover <laughs> before we continue. It's been amazing. The views are beautiful. It's, uh, we're all alone, but it is difficult. And it's really, really testing the car at the moment. And on we went in search of our campsite for the night. So I'm sure you guys want to know a little bit about what's going on over there. Um, it's pretty cool. But I just want to show you how damn easy it really is to set up. And it's actually, a lot of you guys are going to want to know how it's been driving, how the car's been driving with the roof top tent on. And before I did the suspension upgrade, not so great. Uh, it's a bit too much for the standard suspension to handle. But after the kit, really good. Let me show you how to set this thing up. It's really, really easy. That's pretty much it. Um, the only thing now is just to get the ladder. This little gutter. Easy as that. So now that's the kind of basic setup. Then obviously inside 
you customize it to how you want. If you want to keep your sleeping bags or blankets or warmers or whatever you want, that kind of stays in there while you're driving around. So there is a light up there in the tent as well as a, well, a 12 volt socket that will power that light. You'll just run that to your dual battery system. Nice and easy and then you've got light inside your tent at night. By now, after a very adventurous day out on the trail, it's time to set up our camp properly, make a nice warm fire and get a good night's rest in. Make sure to subscribe and join us on the next video, where we continue our journey on the Three Provinces Trail and really see just how well the Jimny performs with the rooftop tent on.